when you start telling people what to wear and pretty much how to act, I mean, you need to close your establishment. So the name is laid back. The approach to what customers can wear is not, though. Kickback Jacks has locations in Raleigh, Fayetteville, and Southern Pines. But it is a new restaurant in Durham that has a lot of people talking. CBS 17's Derek Lewis is looking into what all that talk is about. The dress code at Kickback Jacks has customers a little uptight. It's gaining attention with more than 100 shares on social media. I stopped by the restaurant in Durham to find out why. Their sign is bogus. I, I think it's a bunch of rubbish. The sign posted inside the restaurant lists the dress code and behavior requirements. The list starts off prohibiting negative attitudes or offensive language and any attire containing profanity. In a family atmosphere other than just a sports bar, I think profanity should be restricted in any public place. The first part sounded okay, but it just got like to me more discriminatory. The dress code goes on to say no low hanging pants or shorts, no plain white t shirts, no excessively baggage attire. Lori and Thomas Washington believe it has a racial undertone and is offensive to them. That's typically, you know, a younger, you know, like <laughs> younger African American type. Attire. John Bockham tells me not having the policy could be offensive to others. The way they wear their pants and so are exposing certain parts of skin or whatever. And I think that should be a manager's discretion as far as offensive to other people. Backpacks, stilettos, balloons, and large parties are also not allowed. You must arrive to kickback jacks already dressed the part. There's a policy that you may not modify your wardrobe upon entrance. I reached out to the company that owns the restaurant by phone and through email, but have not gotten a response. According to their website, there are 14 kickback jacks restaurants in Virginia and North Carolina. A manager tells me this dress code is a company-wide policy. In Durham, I'm Derek Lewis, CBS 17 News.